Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I want to uh, make something for you today, get that mixer out of the way, um, that I got the recipe from Whaley Pecan Company. They are kind of sponsoring me right now, and I'm gonna tell you their pecans are absolutely the best I've ever had. You can order them in bulk or you can order them in these packages that are a pound package. And these um, are the medium pecans pieces, but you can order the kind you want from small, medium, uh, large, chopped or whole pecans. And I'm gonna tell you they they come in a resealable bag, and what I do when I open a bag, I reseal it and keep it in my freezer. But what I'm going to make for you today is called Alabama Pecan Bread. And the recipe comes from Whaley Pecan Company in Troy, Alabama. So you know, the pecans here in Alabama are good pecans, and I am pleased that I can share where you can buy these and there you just go to their website and it's whaleypecan.com w h a l e y pecan p e c a n.com I know some of you say pecan but I say pecan and let me tell you what you do you take 1 cup of granulated white sugar one cup of brown sugar and four eggs. Let me get something right here. I'm just going to mix that together, but the four eggs, and I'm going to do one at a time in here. That's good. The recipe says to just mix all together, and that's what we're going to do. Three. And four. I'm kind of out of the picture, I see. All right. And then I'm going to add one cup of vegetable oil so let me put this one cup of vegetable oil and one teaspoon of vanilla I'm gonna tell you, I use a lot of pecans. They're hard to find here in my town, you know, and I have found and bought from some folks and had to have them uh, cracked and I would pick them and everything. But when I can buy these already, the size I want, it is, so worth it. Okay, so I have one cup of sugar, white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, four eggs, a cup of oil. All right. Then I'm going to put one and a half cups of self-rising flour. Self-rising flour. One. And a half. Cups of self-rising flour. Okay, let me mix this in. I didn't 
me want to get out my kitchen aid with this because it's easy to mix with um, a hand mixer. And the next last thing is two cups of small pecan pieces. And you see these are already cut just perfect. So two cups. And I'm just gonna mix this in. Now, all the ingredients are mixed together. I have a pressure cooker going, so I want to turn it down just a little bit. All right, do you see how that batter looks? I have a loaf pan and I have sprayed it. And then I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to cook this for 30 to 35 minutes and let it cool. Okay. I'm going to put it in the oven, cook it, and when it's done, I'll be back. Hey, I'm back, and I, I took the pecan bread out after 40 minutes, and it was not done. So I cooked it really about an hour and five minutes, and it, it's perfect. I let it cool. I cut a piece. And this is what it looks like. I almost dumped it, but it is hot. I'm not going to eat any of it right now because we haven't had supper yet, but this is Alabama pecan bread. And I used Whaley's pecans from Troy, Alabama. I hope that if you need pecans that you'll go online and you'll order from them. But y'all, I want you to remember that Jesus loves you and he wants us to be salt and light. Uh, I, I know that many of you are going through some rough times right now because you've told me about it. And I'm praying for you and I trust that you're praying and asking God to heal you and to be with you through these tough times, and I know he will. He's our only hope. But anyway, I just want you to have a great day, and I will be back soon.